All right, house update. I feel like it's been a month and a half since I did the last video. Uh, I don't know that a lot has changed, but we certainly have uh, have done a bunch of stuff here, and I want to update you on what what's about to happen. Things are about to move much faster uh, now that you know we've been playing the waiting game, waiting for stuff to show up. So the front yard, uh, of course, we had to do a whole new drain field. Uh, the problem in the current building environment we now live is that you can't get any materials. Uh, and so the front yard is being completely replaced with uh, St. Augustine. So we're going to be doing grass like our neighbors over here. So I decided to spend the money. We're actually going to rip out the entire yard. So they came and sprayed it. I'm going to rip out the entire yard of Zoysia. And uh, we're going to uh, uh, replace it with, uh, with St. Augustine grass instead. So all of this... If you if you've been watching for a while, there was a there was a bowl here which is now a bit more flat and sloped. Uh, the problem is, is all the water runs to that spot there, so we're gonna have to make sure we do some um, do a little bit of grading there and get get that get that knocked out. But the front yard is about to change. Should be this week or next where we get new grass. Same thing with above the sidewalk. Uh, all the sprinkler system has been replaced here. All the heads have been adjusted and re, uh, redone. Uh, so all of this is, is, uh, is going to hopefully be, be decent. The grass is going to be decent. This, um, this bed used to come out to here and used to cover all the way over to where the new pavers are, the pavers that don't match. Um, so we've condensed the bed and we put, I spent the money and had the edging put in and we're gonna do rock here. It's a brown, I don't know if it's a river rock, but it's some sort of rock uh, that costs three times as much, but then we won't have to mulch it all the time. Uh, we won't end up with mulch all over the, all over the driveway and stuff like that. So uh, the weed beds are down, all of the little little misting sprinkler heads have been fixed uh, and so the the front of the house is condensed down to something much simpler and then St. Augustine is pretty stout and grows up pretty high uh, and becomes pretty thick and dense and so we'll have a nice barrier of rock and St. Augustine edged up here. Uh, same thing with the beds in the front uh, and then we've eliminated there was a bunch of trees and stuff in here that would where you can see all these roots they pulled up they're just kind of sitting around here there were thousands of them that were leaching and growing into our, our, our drain field, which is a really bad thing. So the septic system, so what's happening here is the, you know, the gutters are running down, and so we need some grass to hold all this sand together. Uh, but this is our lift station. Uh, so this thing here is a tank with a pump on it, and there's a, now there's a, uh, a little, uh, alarm here that if the pump ever has a problem but the pump is now pushing water out into the drain field and the drain field is about three times the size it was before so hopefully we won't have any poo issues again the poo guys are in our house so you got the lift station here and then you have the the wet tank and the dry tank or the solids tank and the, the liquid tank uh, so there's two separate tanks and so we put these risers on the septic even though you'll see them you know the grass will be planted around this i wanted it to be serviceable uh, and so even though you see these here they're kind of in the middle of the yard um, it is on the side of the house and when the saint augustine grows up around it um, these will become much more accessible uh, because there's a filter in here that needs to be cleaned out once every six months or so but our septic system shouldn't need any major service for years uh, so we, we should be good to go there uh, the side of the house, again, all of this grass is going to be replaced. So all of this will be replaced with St. Augustine. Uh, and so you notice they came out and killed it, sprayed it all. So hopefully it'll be easier for them to dig up. Uh, but that's something, um, something I think is going to make a, a big difference is having St. Augustine instead of the Zoysia crab. A lot has happened here. If you've been following along, I added the mini split. And then we decided to move the panel. So our, our, our panel for the, for the entire house, so there's a uh, uh, meter tandem panel, which we put the vast majority of our outlets in, or our, our breakers in. So all of our little stuff has been moved and then we put a bunch of tandem outlets in here. And that freed up a lot of space for us to, to not have to get another, another sub panel. And then this is the extra panel that was added. So now you see we have a, our Tesla chargers were added, and then we 
had a, a separate range. We actually have an extra 50 amp run to the kitchen if we ever needed it for anything. Um, but uh, in general, we've gained quite a bit of expansion capability. Uh, these can be tandems up here if we ever needed to in the future. Uh, so we do have some, some space to add some stuff. I can't envision adding much more. We've already wired pretty much everything up. Uh, but the, uh, the panel has now moved to the outside. You know, it is a little annoying that if, you know, you kick a breaker, you got to walk outside here, but it's better than having to take a bunch of space in the garage. It's my preference. This is our sprinkler system here. Cable line coming in. This will all get buried and covered up when the, uh, when the rock comes. And uh, there, we're putting, you know, the weed bed to the weed liner here as well. And then this is our normal, you know, three ton that, that, that takes care of the rest of the house. So this is where the doorway was. I've got to fill in that hole. Uh, but this is where the doorway was. Uh, we put some stucco here, uh, filled in all the stucco cracks. The whole exterior of the house is getting painted once the rock is done. So when the rock is done, the grass is in, we'll be painting the exterior. I think this is just some more weed liner that has to go down the rest of the side of the house here. But these will all be taken care of and kept and keeping nice simple landscaping instead of a bunch of weird crap. This here uh, has changed a bit, quite a bit too. So we took the water heater out of the out of the um, out of the garage and moved it out here and went from tanked to tankless. So I did a Renai tankless, um, running it at 135 degrees. Uh, and then we also have a Nuvo. So this is a Nuvo. Is there cellophane on this thing? I think there is. I have to pull that off. Uh, but this is a, in here is two sediment filters and then a Nuvo citrus-based filter. It freaking sucks. It doesn't work for squat. So we're going to be changing something out here. Either adding an iron breaker or uh, what I want to do is a traditional softener. Salt-based softener. Because this doesn't work for squat. Something's vibrating. I don't think it's supposed to make that noise. And uh, the nice thing is the gas line here. So this is a gas water heater. We have a 250-gallon tank around the side of the house. Uh, and so that's our, our gas line, which they just came off of in order to, uh, in order to do um, uh, hot water. The, the other thing we have is a recirc line. That's one of the three black lines that's running up there. The recirc line runs to the, um, runs to the master. I run it uh, like five, six hours a day. The middle of the day, I turn the recirc off, but that, that uh, tankless water heater has a pump built in it. Looks like we've got some more cracking here. The painters will, will fix that. Um, but uh, this landscaping here is getting all cleaned up. We actually, um, you know, I thought about putting a sidewalk in here, but we never come around the side of the house, so it's fine. You, you walk out here and you walk back inside. So uh, this area out here has changed and they put the, Michelle wanted us goofy little fire pit, which we'll never freaking use, but uh, we'll, we have it. And then all these porta carpus or whatever they're called. So all these trees we put in, uh, there was a bunch of hodgepodge of crap. And so we, we put all these in to, to clean up the back. You can see they're building the house behind us now. So this adds, you know, adds some privacy. So you don't feel like you're living in the next person's backyard. This will also be replaced with St. Augustine here in the back. All the sprinkler heads have been adjusted and fixed. So you can see just on the exterior, it's been quite a bit of work to get this, get this place up to, up to OG spec. Back here, not much has changed, or actually nothing's changed other than we filled in. The people had, that was like the dog poop spot, so we filled that in with some pavers that don't match, but whatever, it looks fine. And then, oh shoot, speaking of poop, <laughs> god dang it. <laughs> Where did I get that from? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the, the woes of having a dog. My gosh. Anyway, so we're doing um, out here is going to change in about three months. So we've got a while for the outdoor kitchen stuff to show up. Uh, but we're doing uh, Evo. You can see my Evo over there in the corner. Uh, we're doing an Evo. I'm doing a Lynx grill. Um, there's going to be overhead. So here we're going to build a couple of windows and then we're going to have some block that comes up. 
and there will be like a waterfall backsplash that connects to the granite countertop. I have a big giant hood above here. Uh, so this will become the outdoor kitchen area with the Evo grill right here, uh, which means we're going to have to figure out some sort of seating for this, uh, this outdoor area and um, I'll put a, probably put a display over there, new fans, and we'll do some, some, some better lighting and audio out here as well. Uh, but that's something that um, is going to be happening later this summer. Where well, I ordered the stuff three months ago, but you can't freaking buy anything. Doesn't matter how much money you have, how much you spend, you got to wait for stuff these days. What the heck? God dang it. So, uh, not much to do back here. Just these have all been cleaned up, and we've got our edging put in all around the house. Again, the exterior will be painted. The roof is in really great shape. I mean, it's only three and a half years old. But you can see we had to fix just normal settling stucco cracks. God dang, this is not coming off. I think we'll probably, I'll have them paint and touch up the exterior of the soffit. Um, and uh, we really should figure out, there's a French drain that runs down here. So I think maybe we just need to clean out that French drain because we do have water issues that sit. Water fills in this little basin here. I don't think this is legal, but I did it anyway, in that we're doing, uh, we have the, that's what that edging is good for, poop removal. Um, but this is for the garbage cans. I'm gonna get a third garbage can. You have to do some real convincing with the city in order to convince them to let you do that. But this is where our main gas line comes in, so, I don't know why this has to be sticking out of the ground like this. I'd like to change this too. But we have a 250 gallon tank right here that takes care of the, you know, the gas stuff. Now we use more gas because of the, the water heater is uh, gas from before it was electric. So out front, we'd put this in. Uh, notice as well this, I'm going to have to cut this thing back because we've almost impaled ourselves on that that edge there playing basketball. But we put the little illegal little pad here for the basketball hoop, but I think it's I think it's pretty smart. We can pull it out if we need to. We're guaranteed to break some windows in the future. Uh, Ryan's already knocked down half the corbels we have on the, on the outside of the house. And again, these bricks are supposed to match and you see some of them kind of do. Um, but it actually works out. I think it actually looks decent in that this matches that, which matches the side. I don't know, it gives it a little, it's not, it matches enough that I think, I think it looks fine. And so I got to get rid of this stupid golf cart that Michelle borrowed from somebody. The bikes are just sitting out here because we're working on the garage. Um, but just the exterior will get touched up. Michelle hates those little squares. So we're going to paint those the same color as the house. Uh, but uh, the exterior here, what I'm likely going to do, I'm going to do some sort of, figure out some sort of sophisticated light system where I can turn those lights on on a separate zone and basically paint this area so when I'm washing a car at night or in the dusk that I could, uh, I could light this. And I'll probably do it from multiple angles from here and here and have it come out and take, take care of this area where, where I tend to wash cars. Still waiting on the garage doors. We'll come and we'll look at the garage in a minute, but let's go in the front here and show you what's, what's happened at the front. I've always hated the monitored goofy alarm systems, um, but we did an ADT system, and, uh, or the ADT system was already here. So I just called them just to see what it would be. And I actually really like it. The system, they've gotten much more sophisticated. So we have a ring like doorbell cam and all, you know, I can access it via the, the app, which, is, uh, which works pretty well. We have also a wireless quick set uh, door lock. So we can lock this from the ADT app. And then of course, you know, the house is monitored with all glass break sensors and motion sensors and all that stuff throughout the house. But this is a you know, wireless quick set and then our, our panels here. So here's the kitchen. So the kitchen has transformed quite a bit. Um, we're still working on it. Uh, the guy should be here today to finish up the button up most of it and then we have the painters come. Uh, but notice now I have a wolf cooktop. I didn't, we could have taken this cabinet out, but we'd only been able to do a 36. You know, I'd really want a 60 inch or at least a 48 inch uh, range. And we have the double oven already set up over here. So it made sense to stay with just the hood or the, the cooktop insert. 
The other thing I considered was cutting the countertop and doing the one or whatever you call that, the full size insert. Um, but I view, bro, I already stepped in your poo, zip it. So uh, anyway, we've had to modify this drawer. So this drawer is getting replaced again because it doesn't fit behind the, the 90 on the gas line for the, for the gas cooktop. Uh, we have to go pick out our backsplash. We're doing a new backsplash, but notice we have a traditional or transitional style hood. These doors are getting cut and then we'll have like a mantle, like a big hunk of wood here. So it'll look like our last house. Um, so these doors are, are a bit too, they're too big. They're going to get cut down to, you know, roughly here. This will look more like a, you know, custom piece rather than just a, a cookie cutter cabinet. Um, we did the light channels underneath and then these are these are wood versus the cabinets that are in here uh press board like a melamine so we have all custom you know uppers but they're built to match the lowers and once we paint and caulk the joints and all that stuff everything everything will match nicely but we have a uh what size i think it's a 50 inch no 42 inch i believe it's a 42 inch hood insert with a blower, uh, so that'll be going up up inside there. I've got our new Cove dishwasher coming. I've got, uh, we just, I mean, obviously this has been replaced, so this is the Wolf M Series double oven, which I'm in love with. I know people get bent out of shape, he's not super big inside, but it does what we need to do. We very rarely ever use the double oven. And then in here, so this has transitioned quite a bit to a real, pantry instead of just the wire crap and that's freaking awesome so what we're going to do this is going to be a like a white wash like a gray wash stain uh i'll get if we got to figure out what kind of countertop we're going to put in here but i got to go get a countertop um i might do the blue tree tops like we have out in the garage uh, but the painters will come and fix all this perry will be putting in multiple outlets and this is where like the blender and the toaster and the things that you don't use as much the mixer will sit in here uh, and then this cabinet, I didn't want a lazy Susan. Um, so this cabinet is like two and a half deep, goes all the way back inside. Uh, so we'll be able to uh, utilize that, that area. And I'm gonna get a bunch of Hayfula stuff. Uh, the Hayfula stuff will be so I can do some different you know, drawer organization. We also have to go pick out hardware as well. So we're gonna replace all the hardware on all this to something black that matches the, the um, whatever you call this, the, this thing, spigot, um, faucet. I think I'm gonna have to, I wanted to do my HydroTap, which is the filtered water system, the zip HydroTap. I wanted to do it here, but it's not gonna fit in this cabinet. So this is our Scotsman Nugget Ice Maker. Uh, so the ice maker's going here. Uh, we're gonna able the plumbers coming next week to come and tap the drain, set up the ice maker. We already have it, uh, the outlet set up. Um, but um, the other thing I could do, I could take a couple of drawers out and put the zip in, but I don't think I wanna do that. So I'll wait for the hydro tap to get here. I might put it over there or I might put it next to the sink. We'll see, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but well, I'll believe it when it shows up here. So the microwave's going here. Again, this is where the fridge was. Microwave's going here, which is you know sitting on the end of the countertop. We've been living in uh, living in a mess here the last few weeks. Uh, but the microwave go here, so the guy's coming back here today. He's building the piece right now, uh, but this will be this will be fixed. We also did new toe kicks, so the toe kicks are now like furniture quality toe kicks to match the the island. They were just like little pieces of uh, little uh, masonite before. And then you'll notice on all the cabinets we have put on. I would have raised panel on the side of all the cabinets here. What's up, G? Where are you going? Try Charlie's. Oh, okay. See ya. Check out the boys. So put this raised panel on each side, furniture casing around the edge. I put a panel up under here so that way that's clean and looks nice. Uh, and so the, uh, the computer you know, will we'll, 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 you know, look, look decent. We'll be doing a new backsplash to match. We got new chairs, which you didn't see. And then underneath here were these darn corbels that would jab you in the knee every time you, uh, every time you sat. Uh, and so we had them put in these, the cabinet guys came up with this idea, where we put in these little 
little things to make it look finished. And so when this all gets painted, it's getting painted uh, white dove, Benjamin Moore white dove. Uh, it's gonna look freaking incredible. And obviously, you know, crowns, we added crown to this little thing here. It's a little wet bar thing that we're using as our computer workstation. And then crown all the way around the edge. And you see up top there, they built a little covered casing for the, uh, the, the uh, exhaust fan outlet. So um, you saw we changed all the light fixtures. All these are Cree, you know, Cree, uh, Cree fixtures. Go back and watch the other videos. Here's the microwave here, the Wolf Wolf M series mic microwave to match the uh, match the Wolf um, M series, uh, whatever you call it, uh, double oven. Um, in here, nothing's really changed. Um, this couch is gonna have to get replaced really soon because the microfiber and my kids and dog are ruining it. it really doesn't fit in here anyway, but this was in my home theater in the last house. I'm still waiting on, I'm gonna be doing uh, NAD. So NAD M17 uh, is gonna replace the Yamaha and the Theatergram, the Sunfire Theatergram amps. This is the center channel that's gonna stay in the gloss uh, gray, whatever wood, it's freaking awesome. But this is a contour, contour eye center. I'm waiting for the contour 60s to come to be my left and right channel. And then I'm working very diligently to get to SVS. So I'll probably do an SVS ultra sub in here, but testing out some other evokes and some other speakers in here. So these obviously won't be staying once I get this place cleaned up. We'll, uh, we'll take care of that. New light fixture in the entry, which is a little too big, but it's okay. We're gonna leave it here. Oh, I forgot to mention the fridge and freezer. 36 inch Wolf, 36, or sorry, 36 inch Sub-Zero freezer, 36 inch Sub-Zero fridge. No water dispensing in the fridge. The water dispensing will be done by the Zip Hydro Tap, uh, but we will have an ice maker, a backup ice maker in the, I'm making a you know, normal cubed ice in the freezer. So we did run a water line. You can see where our power lines, this is all framed out and ready to go. Just waiting on the, fr on the fridge to arrive. I believe the freezer's here, but. You know, just, you know, playing the waiting game. So this is ready to go in the kitchen. It's gonna look really sweet in, the, in probably a month or so. Um, I don't think anything's changed in the master. Let's check Shelly's uh, bed making here. Let's see if the bed's made. Oh, busted. We do make the bed every day. Uh, nothing has changed in here since the last time other than I have a bunch of speakers in here from the garage with the house torn apart working on lighting out there We've got speakers everywhere um, so the speakers will all be be you know videoed and photoed and then sold off um, the closets are done so my closet's done this is the this is the telltale sign of a real detailer I've got microfiber towels stage just sitting here ready to go back to uh, go back to the garage. I didn't want to get dust on them being out there. So that's how you know you're a real detailer. But my closet was was changed and that this bank of drawers was added. So this became my closet. Uh, added this row of shelves for my shoes. And then Michelle's closet was changed and that we took out the, there. this was a shoe shelf, made that double hang, took out the shelves here and made this more hanging areas. So now this is her closet and that's my closet. And you get to see the Mormon reel. No, uh, no cleanup prior. There's a spoon sitting here for some reason. Don't know why. Kate was probably doing something. This is my sink, so somebody was messing with it. She, she, Kate is definitely in here. So uh, the only thing that changed, just don't ever do this. Don't ever do a towel rack like this. It's freaking useless. Towel looks like that. So I'm just waiting on one. I've got like a normal rack, like the one behind us here. These are from Brizo, B-R-I-Z-O, I think it is. So we changed the light fixtures in here, changed to all the, the Brizo hardware. Uh, I did a Newport brass, Newport brass shower heads, which is awesome. Uh, and then Delta, Delta faucets because they were already Delta in here. But you can see the water spots. I mean, I should have a freaking water filter. Why am I getting water spots? You shouldn't have any. Uh, and uh, so there's still hard water getting through that crappy filter it doesn't work for squat. Uh, and so a new light fixture here, new light fixture there. 
but a good stupid freaking worthless tub. Don't ever do a tub. What do you need a tub for? We're freaking grown ups. You're not sitting in a stupid tub. All it does is catch with dust. So uh, we may rip that out someday. We'll see. I doubt it. I don't know if we'll be here long enough to really worry about that. But you know, the concept here is if I'm going to live here, I want it to be nice. And so it takes us five months and a lot of money to get it all set up. But now it's, it's getting close. So uh, the back bedrooms here, um, not, that, not much has changed to Kate's room other than I think the last time you saw this. Let's see what kind of disaster we got going on in here. So Kate's room, all of her fixtures are done. The fan, so the fans are now all swapped out to the Whisper Quiet fans from Panasonic. We did new toilets in every bathroom. Uh, Kate got new new faucet, new fixtures as well, new uh, faucet and, and uh, that's a Newport brass shower head. Um, she got all new hardware for hanging stuff and then her room's in here, oh boy. And then um, I haven't swapped out these fans, I probably should. You got one light bulb, dear lord. I can't keep up with this. And then her closet's completely done. So there was no closet organization. It just had the normal Rubbermaid wire stuff. So now her closet has a bank of drawers, and so we don't need any dressers, even though she has one. And so then all her stuff is able to hopefully be somewhat organized in here as much as possible. Gosh. You know what this house would look like if it was just me, right? <laughs> but then it would be just me. Oh, yeah, this is great. Just freaking just make it... Freshly painted doors, no problem. Don't mind that. God dang it. And so in here, oh boy. In here, I'm gonna redo this room. We're gonna make this like the little kids' playroom. They never use it. Kate uses a craft table. So I think this is gonna become Kate's crafting, and I'm gonna make this an office. I'm gonna bring my desk back from HQ. I'm gonna put the desk in here. I'm gonna get rid of all this and do something fancier, uh, even though I spent all the time to set that up. The uh, Xbox and Switch hasn't been turned on ever since Ryan got his PC. So this is kind of pointless to, to have. So I come in here and I do all my Zoom meetings and stuff sitting at that desk <laughs> with freaking crap everywhere. And then this closet has organization as well. I like showing the reel here. This is, this is better. And so this closet, we just made an adjustment to add shelves there, which, you know, we don't keep a lot of stuff. Got enough cloud lifters there to freaking, yeah, for the next 10 years of podcasting. And I don't even need a cloud lifter anymore. Uh, let's show you Ryan's room, and that's the whole house. Once I get everything done, I'm going to have those guys that came out and cleaned the floors do the deep cleaning of the floors again. And then we can live in some semblance of cleanliness. Because every time I get something put together, get it cleaned up and then we do some tear apart the kitchen or something like that. So we're, we're really close to this area being done. We'll make everybody walk around when they do the outdoor kitchen. We probably should work on ordering some furniture for that as soon as possible. So the fixtures in here, in here have been changed. I mean, again, I changed the light fixture in every spot. Oh, cool. Ryan only peed all over the seat, but that's about. So this lighting in here is pretty awesome. So he got his new fixture finally. So his fixture is good. We got the Whisper Quiet fan. I figured out that Whisper Quiet fans are going to be are best served setting up like in here. It's set up on uh, motion sensor only, so it should be coming on here in a second. Um, yeah, there it goes. It's a DC motor, so it takes a minute to ramp up. But I was planning on having them all running all the time. I just leave the ones in the master running. It's kind of annoying when it's running in here, uh, and so I've turned them to run for five minutes and then turn off. Uh, and so it's just, just a better way to do it. And so that'll run for five minutes and it'll turn off since it sensed my motion. Ryan got all new furniture. Kind of, kind of dirt ball space we living in here. This <laughs> looks <laughs> freaking crap everywhere. This is unbelievable. I love this. Michelle's gonna cringe. I'm gonna make sure she watches this video. It always motivates her every time when they leave the house, running out of the house. We've got freaking jerseys hanging. So we did more uh, shelves for Ryan so he can fit all the shoes. His PC's all set up here. We now have a, um, it's ethernet connected. 
What is going on here? I got some work to do to get this place back up to standard. So we're waiting. I'm waiting on finishing the kitchen. I can come in here and really get it organized and I can start freaking yelling at everybody all the time about keeping it clean. All right, let's show you the garage and uh, that's the house. All right, so the garage is coming together. Um, you can see we got all the cabinets in. There's only one cabinet that still needs to be mounted, which is this one when we do the pressure washer wall. So this is the microfiber cabinet. That's gonna be the audio AV camera cabinet. And notice we're finally getting our lights put in, um, but these are Sabre cabinets set up. Blue tree tops, which we source and sell all the stuff, build it, you know, build it custom for you. Um, the, the, the drawers are filled with a bunch of tools, but we haven't done any organization yet. I've been waiting on the lights. And then we'll have, uh, probably have me, Kyle, Tommy, Bryce come over here and we'll work together and we'll build, build a tool grid set. Uh, but Mr. Perry's here doing his thing, getting, getting all our lighting set up. Still waiting on garage doors. Once the doors come, uh, once we cut the floor, uh, I'll get the paint done. And then we'll do the um, we'll do the um, uh, the backsplash and the uh, the floor the the Swiss tracks tile. So we're probably a few months away from having the garage put together. I've been waiting on the lights for a long time, uh, and so there will be a whole other series on the tons of videos on this garage showing you the cabin install and what I'm going to be doing for audio video and all of that stuff. So uh, we're we'll actually shooting the lighting video here today of the lighting install. And uh, I'm excited to get rid of these doors and get rid of all this hardware. Um, but the, um, the other thing we should probably show you, let's go up in the attic and show you what's happened up here. I have a motion sensor up here for the lighting. But like I talked about before, we took and moved the water heater out of the garage. I also moved the air handler. So you can see a rather sophisticated air handler set up. We added, brought the air handler up here added the dehumidifier so it has a fresh air dehumidifier so the fresh air comes in from outside so the concept here is fresh air comes in gets dehumidified cycles through the house the whisper quiet fans are cycling through the house as well so the air probably turns in the house 10 12 times a day uh, and then we added some ducts into the attic this attic uh, is all i think we have about eight inches or 12 inches 10 inches of open cell all throughout the interior side of the house. I had them come in and do closed cell here on the, this side of the attic for the, um, for the garage. And so now this is all sealed off from the outside. So in order to keep humidity under control in the attic, since now the attic has actually been brought inside, we do need to condition this space. It doesn't need to be 60 degrees, but we do want to condition it so that we keep humidity out of here. So uh, this has become a pretty dense place, you know, from a, this little 2,500 square foot house has become a pretty sophisticated uh, living environment. Um, we'll do some more, I'll probably do some shelving, some organization up here once we get the, uh, once we get all the electrical done for the garage. Uh, we still have quite a bit of work to do with all the light, lights and things like that. But uh, it's a nice, it's probably, if this door wasn't open, it'd probably be like 75, 78, you know, maybe, maybe slightly below 80 degrees, and it's about 90 degrees outside today. So um, the attic is uh, coming together. You can see our new Cree lights we're putting in are actually creating some, some backlighting for this area. Um, we have three just Home Depot lights up here on a motion sensor. So as soon as the door opens, you, you get to, uh, it lights up. And then uh, I have the, the, the magic lift over there, which we can, lift things up and down you know, depending on needs but like i said we'll get into the garage and the garage specific video and today's not a good day to do that because uh, you know, the guys are here working but that's the house man it's uh coming together we've been living in this kind of construction life for since february so we moved in in february i'd say we got a lot done uh, we have quite a bit more to do, but it's all going to come together here over the next uh, rest of the summer. So we figure move in by February, move in February, completely transform the place, uh, have it done by, say, September, October, and then on to the next project. That's when I'll hopefully be on to a destination OG up in the Carolina mountains. So thanks for watching. Thanks for following along on this. Thanks for all the wives and uh, watching these videos, making the view count go up. 
and uh, we'll keep you up to date on uh, on all the choices that we do. And um, I'm really excited to get into the finer tuning of organizing every little thing uh, and then yelling at my family to keep everything clean from here on out. It's going to be a fun, fun, uh, fun life. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more crazy. We have more at the house. Keep you up to date. See ya.